Hey guys, welcome back to Creamy Suds. This is Stephanie Oki here. I haven't done a video like this in a long time and guys, I decided to just take a step back after what happened about two weeks ago on YouTube. <laughs> if anyone has seen that video, you guys would know that I was a bit of a mess. I was really upset with the fact that I did a live stream and YouTube decided to take it upon themselves to delete my work and so I was just really upset <laughs> and so I just took a step back and decided you know what I'm just gonna go back to doing videos like this and if I have to do a live stream on, on YouTube I'll probably just do more of talking rather than actually making something because I feel I, I you know I really felt like you know after making something you kind of have to make it again or you know it's gone and it was just a really painful thing that happened and anyways i just thought let's just go back to basics and so it's back to our love this is our first love this is the way we love our videos isn't it <laughs> so guys um you already know this is me measuring out the hard oils and then um so for this one i wanted to do a design and my intention is actually not what happened in the end everything just got messed up and you guys should just watch till the end to see what happened because soap making sometimes you just need to sprinkle holy water everywhere before you start because things can just go their own way anyway so now i'm just measuring out out my citric acid and dissolving that in my water before i go ahead and add my lye and so i decided to do the heat transfer method for this um, particular recipe which I think was probably one of the mistakes I made because you're gonna see how much of a huge blunder that turned out because my batter turned out very thick like it went it got thick very fast and uh, anyway that's not what I wanted so let me just show you guys the rest of the process and I'll come back to you in a bit <music> So after melting my hard oils with the lye water, the hot lye water, I then go ahead to measure all of my liquid oils into the mix to kind of make the temperature come down a bit. Um, and you know, hopefully, because usually when the temperature is lower, your batter doesn't trace doesn't trace as fast. But I think, and I, I think <laughs> that the mistake I made was I stick blended a little bit more than I should have. Yes. And also coupled with the fact that I did the heat transfer method. But it's all good. I still ended up liking the soap in the end anyway. Um, and yeah, but like, I don't remember what fragrance oil I used there, but 
like i said to you guys already i'm not gonna be promoting brands <laughs> unless they're brands i've kind of worked with at some point but if i haven't worked with them yeah nah they're not promoting me i'm not promoting them anyways so guys i just added some colloidal oats <laughs> i'm so silly i just added some colloidal oats just because it just adds that extra luxury to my soap and i'm now blending away So now onto the mixing, I am using a yellow, a kind of red, it's not really a dark red, but it's a reddish red. Honestly, I was hoping it would look more like pink in the end, but somehow it turned out looking more orangey red-ish. Well, it's all good. And then there I have some activated charcoal for my black, and then I am putting just a little bit of white. And so you would see from the way I i'll let you guys just watch um until the part where i decide to uh, or let's just keep going <laughs> okay so you're gonna see how i started pouring in my batter into the mold and you could see that and guys i never know the names of all the designs there are just so many names i just do whatever i don't know the names of designs but you would see here what i wanted to do at first so i'm pouring in my yellow butter at this point you can already see it's getting thick and i'm working with the yellow and the red and then i go you know this is sort of i think it's called a thin lines technique or something like that so you know you just go from side to side side to side that's what i was trying to achieve and then put the black a little bit and then by this at this point it was already getting thick for me and you know i could feel it look there it was kind of thick and then do the white and then go back with the yellow and the red and go side to side side to side for a few you know and then again with the black and then the white but but guys there's something i will tell you that happened at this point so right at this point is when the king himself my son decided to wake up and come and start screaming <laughs> like literally he, he was right there beside me just screaming for my attention and i'm like but this is really not the point i can stop i really cannot stop like so i was trying to rush the thing was getting thick on me and it got too thick and if you guys are already used to me already you know that once there's a blunder in my soaps i always change directions like that's when i just change from what i wanted to do initially and just do something else entirely <laughs> and so um so here i was just still pouring in to see if something you know something could come out of it but it wasn't even it was about halfway through the mold at this point and look how thick it was and so this was when i just gave up on it and left the rest of the butter and just decided to swirl and now this is my swirl and as we know with swirls there's a tendency to over swirl but that's still okay i wanted to over swirl because sometimes i feel like my soaps indicate my state of mind and really this was my state of mind it was a bit chaotic <laughs> and this is what i ended ended up with a marble and what i liked about it which i'll show you at the end is the way i cut it brought out two different designs from this and so i still had quite a bit of butter left so i put it in my one pound mold there and here is something i had always imagined doing and that is just splattering on soap batter just to kind of indicate that my mind right now is in some form of chaos and i literally i've always imagined doing this to and to to kind of see what the soap would turn out like and i did it and you know i was just splattering like just pouring it randomly just splattering you know the goal was let's see how this is gonna look you know let's see how a chaotic artist can create something right or a, a a scattered artist let's say and so that's what i did here and i actually liked this and it, incidentally i think i like this more than 
I like this more than the original design. It's just weird. But anyways, guys, I'll let you guys see how this turned out. And I did a bit of a swirl on top just because, you know, <laughs> I wanted the top to look nice. And I did a bit of a swirl and I was cool with this. So now it's the next day. We're on molding and I'm slightly excited, slightly nervous, especially because of the other one that went bad. And I just wanted to see what this would look like. And guys, it did have a really nice pattern. I'll let you guys just watch the cutting of the soap and see how they turned out. So guys you can see the swirl on top there it's just so lovely and you're gonna be surprised what comes up what you know we see underneath it so look at this one this was my chaotic <laughs> my splatters of soap butter and look at how it turned out it actually had a defined pattern and isn't that quite interesting it does look it looks really good in fact i'm gonna try this again with intention this time so i'm gonna choose my colors and just do some splatter 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 because i do like it it's fun it's <laughs> it's you know everywhere it's just dis disorganized and you know still lovely and still beautiful so i'm gonna do it again so here i'm just trying to get out the three sets of bars i had to cut this into six uh you know like because I wanted to do the horizontal cut here and um, here's what it now looks like I'm gonna show you guys how it turns out with the horizontal cut uh, and it, it was just so so fascinating to see how it turned out look at that it's like two completely different soaps <laughs> in one isn't this amazing? I find it so intriguing. I love soap making because it surprises me all the time. It surprises me all the time. It's like that lovely marble on top and then a different type of marble underneath it. I really, really like it. Um, there's so much character to this soap. It's really organized chaos that's what it is um yes yeah, so th there that's how they turned out so now i'm just beveling away to just do give some finishing touches and to just make it look so much neater and you know in the end i just really like to bevel my soaps and then i'm gonna stamp them as well so you guys are also gonna see that So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this soap making and seeing how I got these three designs out of one soap. <laughs> 
I actually enjoy making lots of designs. Anyways, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It really does help. And for those of you who have subscribed recently, welcome. <laughs> and thank you for being here. I mean, look at me telling you guys welcome at the end. But yes, thank you guys for being here. And um, don't forget to subscribe and share my videos. And I'll see you guys again in the next one. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye. Thank you.